The Barn and the Book Chapter 2 Part 2 Sister Anna walked as fast as her short legs would let her. Her black habit whipped back and forth as she struggled to keep up with Grace. Grace ran straight down the path at full speed. Her beaded braids swung and sparkled, making a sound like castanets. Her knee socks slid down around her ankles. Her unzipped coat streamed behind her. Hooray! shouted Grace. We're going to see the goats! Sister Anna heard barking up ahead. As they rounded the bend in the path, she saw Sam and Saucer playing by the gate of the animal farm. Sam looked happy and relaxed. Although she was out of breath, Sister Anna smiled. Sam and Saucer were best friends. Sam looked up as Grace skidded to a stop in front of him. What are you doing? Goats! cried Grace, waving her arms. I'm here to see goats! She skipped around him to the gate and clambered up on the crossbar. Are they in here? Yes, said Sam, getting to his feet. Saucer bounced over to the gate. Look in there, to the left. Grace leaned over the gate, locking her knees and clutching the top rail to keep her balance. I see another dog, and a chicken, too. Are those ducks or geese? Is that a donkey? It's a whole farm. There should be a cow. By this time, Sister Anna had arrived. Grace, dear, if you step down, we can open the gate. Grace jumped down, and Sister Anna reached for the latch. Saucer barked. He galloped around Sam and Grace and sat down firmly on Sister Anna's feet. Oh, dear. Sister Anna clasped her hands. Up, Saucer. Can you get up? Saucer got up, took a large mouthful of Sister Anna's skirt, and braced his front paws on the ground, pulling her away from the gate. Sister Anna staggered backward and grasped the fence to keep her balance. Saucer let go of her skirt and sat down on her feet again, finishing the job. Grace giggled. It's because you aren't Sister Catherine, explained Sam gruffly. He won't let you in because he knows it's her farm. It's everybody's farm, dear, panted Sister Anna, shuffling her feet out from under Saucer. As soon as she stepped back, Saucer hopped up and sat down on her feet again. Oh, dear, maybe I should go get Sister Catherine. It's okay, said Sam. I can let you in. You can? Saucer trusts me, said Sam proudly. Sister Anna's shoulders drooped. I don't think he trusts me. Don't feel bad, chirped Grace, hopping down off the gate. We're going to see goats. Saucer, come, said Sam firmly. Saucer's ears twitched. Come. Saucer fixed his bright black eyes on Sister Anna's face and held his ground for several seconds more. Then he stood up slowly, snuffed loudly, and bounced over to the gate, rearing up on his back legs to rest his paws on the crossbar. That's right, Saucer, said Sam, coming over to pat the fuzzy spot between Saucer's pointed ears. Now back up so we can get in already. Saucer barked, but he dropped down onto the ground and sat back on his haunches next to Sam. Thank you, Saucer, said Sister Anna with a sigh of relief. Saucer grinned at her and let his tongue loll out of his mouth. Sam lifted the latch and the gate squeaked open. Squeak! Click! The animals inside the little farm stopped whatever they had been doing and all started talking at once. Ba ba quack quack ee ah buck buck woof. You could oil that gate, said Grace to Sister Anna. You could oil the squeak. No, don't. Sam shook his head. I like it that way. Sister Anna stood to one side, holding the gate open. Saucer trotted in and paused at his square red doghouse to lap up a drink from his water bowl. Sam followed him and stood still, watching him drink before following Grace down to the goat pen. Grace ran through the gate and galloped along the dirt path, waving and calling to every animal she passed. The goats, always excited by the presence of nuns and other humans, surged toward the inner side of their pen, bleeding loudly and frolicking. Grace stopped so suddenly that Sam and Saucer nearly piled up on top of her. She crouched on the path. I saw a sparkly rock. Her fingers scrabbled against the packed dirt of the path. A small flat rock popped out. Look! She held it up. Sam stared at her. That's a nice rock, said Sister Anna. And look, Grace, there are the goats. Sister Anna made her way around Grace to the goat pen and began to pat the head of each goat she could reach. Grace hopped up and down, doing a joyful dance. Beautiful goats! So many goats! Ma, ma, I can talk to the goats. The goats loved Grace. They plunged back and forth inside their pen, 
bleeding joyfully and bumping into each other. What are their names? asked Grace, coming to stand next to Sister Anna and pat the goats' noses whenever they came near enough to reach. Hop, skip, jump, etc., and so forth, said Sister Anna. Hello, nice goats. Hello, yes, you're a very nice goat. But put your nose back through, nice goat. Sister Catherine will come to feed you later. Sam watched Sister Anna and Grace enjoying the goats. He wished Grace would hurry up and leave. She wasn't as bad as Macrina, but he liked to have the animal farm to himself. At least she wasn't trying to play with Saucer. Sam crouched down and put his arm around Saucer. Saucer licked Sam's ear.